What's up Maniacs, my name is Mex, I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will and today we are going to discuss RK Bro reunite for SummerSlam. We saw Randy Orton come out at the beginning of Raw this week and he was soon interrupted by Riddle after he kind of made his explanation why he didn't want to be teaming with Riddle again. Riddle still wants RK Bro to be a thing, but at this point, Randy Orton is still not interested. AJ Styles and Omos came out and AJ Styles challenged Riddle to a match where Riddle said, yeah, that's fine. He'll take on AJ Styles because he knows with Randy Orton in his corner, he will be like 10 times the superstar and he'll put on a great performance and he'll win the match. But had he got Randy Orton's permission? No, he hadn't. And as the match started, Randy Orton walked up the entranceway and backstage and was not by Riddle's side. Subsequently, AJ Styles won the match here. But later on in the night, we still had Omos versus Randy Orton, which was proven to be a pretty good showcase for Omos, I must say myself. But as Randy Orton spilled out the ring, AJ Styles delivered a kick to the chest, which the referee saw and disqualified Omos from the match, which meant that Randy Orton picked up the win here, but AJ Styles and Omos put a beating on Randy Orton so bad that his good old friend Riddle had to come out and make the save despite obviously Randy Orton treating Riddle so badly throughout the whole opening segment of the show and last week. Randy Orton then took to the mic and went on to say that Riddle has earned his respect and if he really wants RK Bro to be a thing then hell RK bro is a thing, they reunited, they had a handshake, they had a hug, instigated by Randy Orton in the middle of the ring and Riddle took to the mic to challenge Omos and AJ Styles to a tag team match at SummerSlam against RK bro which is now being made official. So that is what happened on Raw in terms of this particular segment. I'm going to give my thoughts on it in just a second, so stay tuned. Right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that's WWE and AEW, so if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. RK Bro reunites for SummerSlam. Now I must say, I do think this is one of the better stories they are telling on Raw or have told on Raw for a matter of weeks now. And I know that isn't saying much at all because we all know, you know, Raw. But yeah, this has been a really good story. The fact that, you know, Randy Orton has been conflicted this entire time before he took his kind of eight week hiatus. He was conflicted about the whole idea of RK bro. Gave it a try because he needed something in return. He does have a liking for Matt Riddle and Riddle has really kind of won him over. It's been a long, long road, including getting RKO'd last week with Randy Orton, you know, I don't need you, I walk alone, I'm a viper, this, that, and the other. But yeah, Riddle continues to fight for his friendship and they've told this story gradually, gradually over a period of time until this point where Randy Orton has accepted this guy is his friend. He's accepted that Riddle will have his back in times of need and now they are going after the Raw Tag Team Championships. Now some could argue this is still just a case of convenience for Randy Orton because there could be something at the end of the rainbow in terms of the Tag Team Championships. But the story to this point has been pretty decent. We can't lie, like, come on. I know the standard isn't very high, but we can't lie, they've told a good story. And then on the other side of the coin, we've got AJ Styles who brought almost into WWE almost like a protector, as a safeguard, but now almost is tag team champion alongside AJ Styles. And like AJ Styles said on the show, they have dispatched the Viking Raiders, they've dispatched of New Day, other teams on Raw as well. They've beaten everybody, and now they're facing the proposition of RK Bro. AJ Styles at times still thinks that he has almost under the thumb, but almost is his own man now, and he's speaking for himself, and he's wrestling his own matches, and all of that kind of stuff. 
and we can see a bit of dissent in the last few weeks between Omos and AJ Styles. AJ Styles now costing Omos a victory because he was definitely on the road to beating Randy Orton. AJ Styles still trying to speak up for Omos and Omos not taking very kindly to it. Are we beginning to see the split of AJ Styles and Omos. I've been calling for this for some time. Not that I have anything against Omos and AJ Styles. I just really want to see AJ Styles again in a singles capacity. So I've been calling for this split for quite a while. Let's see how they do it. Maybe losing the tag belts at SummerSlam could be another kind of nail in the coffin in terms of their relationship. But we shall see. Obviously AJ going alone is what he's used to doing the solo man, doing the singles competitor thing, very good at it. I think Raw still needs more challenges at the top of the card so AJ could be someone that slots in there nicely. Omos, is he ready to go alone? Who knows? He seems like a pretty decent wrestler. I don't subscribe to what people have said online about almost can't go. He seems pretty decent from the small case study we have seen of him working alone in singles matches. So I'm prepared to see where this goes with Omos. It looks like that this is the new direction for WWE anyway. Back to these big guys and all of this kind of stuff. So we'll see where that goes. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on here today and talk about one of the better segments on Raw. One of the segments that makes sense. I haven't done a bit of a Raw chat with you guys for some weeks now, just because I think the show has been really lackluster coming into SummerSlam, particularly Raw. SmackDown's been all right. But yeah, particularly Raw, it hasn't been good. But I wanted to hold off on this RK Bro story from last week. I did want to talk about it last week because I thought we must be getting them reuniting before SummerSlam and here it is. So I think RK Bro are going to win the Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam. I think that's going to be a feel-good moment. The question is of course with Randy Orton on the team, how long is this going to last for? Is there going to be dissent and when? Put your thoughts down below in the comments who you think is going to walk out as Raw Tag Team Champions and if it is RK bro, how long you think they can stay a team? with Randy Orton slithering around. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit us with a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you soon.